Hey guys, so today's video is sponsored by Yehu.com. Yehu is an online learning platform where you can get awesome tutorials about illustration, concept design and art. One of my favorite tutorials there is from Gerald Sung where he teaches how to make character designs using Blender and Photoshop. Gerald has been like one of my favorite concept artists and I've been a huge fan of his works. By the way, this tutorial is also helpful for beginners who are starting out and I'm sure this tutorial will help you a lot to get better at using Blender and Photos for your concept works. You can use the link and promo code given in the description and get $5 off discount on your purchase. I guess I'm gonna buy this tutorial as well. Welcome back to another video and in this video I'll be sketching some sci-fi helmets. The video is in time lapse of course because I don't really draw this fast. So today I would like to talk about you know drawing sci-fi things which a lot of people have trouble drawing with and how do you get better at it. So because I've heard this issue a lot before where people say you know they want to draw sci-fi things but the outcome looks very blocky and very bad with no design in it and trust me like this is very common issue because even like I personally faced this myself when I started out and a lot of people face this even the like best guys in the sci-fi industry they face this a lot so how do I get over it well first I would like to break this into two things sci-fi details and sci-fi forms the reason why i'm breaking this into two is because it's going to be much easier for you to understand and it's going to be easier for me to explain it uh, what i mean by it so whenever you want to draw something let's say a mech you first of course you need to think about like the functionality of the mech first is it going to be like a fighting based mech is it more aggressive is it more defense based so it's gonna be like more buffed up you definitely need some sort of story to it and its functionality so this way you can figure out the major shapes of for example if you're making an aggressive mech then you can see a lot more pointy shapes like triangles you can use more sharp edges on the corners and yeah and if you're going for like a defense based or maybe like something more protective you can use more like circles or more maybe spheres something which can block the attacks you know so you might have heard about this thing called form over function and function over form so you might have heard about this in some of Feng Zhou video or maybe like read it somewhere on like design like forum or somewhere this is really important design aspect but the thing is you can't think and do both at the same time because then you will face a lot of confusion you will get frustrated with it what I do is I sometimes I don't care about the one thing or the other for example sometimes I just care about the form and doesn't even care about the functionality of the thing which I'm drawing and trust me this helps to build your form language visual library inside your head but of course, there's a lot of flaws in this process, but you do it to teach yourself about aesthetic and form language. If you want to get better at functionality, then you should study more from industrial cars, guns, robots, etc. That's why I would focus on both, but at, at one at a time, you know, don't focus like both or at the same time, because then it's going to be really confusing. So for exercising forms, only you can start doing this method of sketching which is start with black thumbnails like silhouette sketches just think in terms of shapes and forms break your silhouette into big medium and small and you know just uh, start with like a blob of shape like a black thumbnail and you can reduce the opacity of it then when when you're satisfied with the thumbnail silhouette you can copy the layer itself then you can reduce the opacity of the layer and draw on top of it. Make sure you have some bigger resting area in your design so it doesn't look very noisy or too much detailed. 
A good design is very much similar to a good painting where painters direct your eyes to the main area of the design. I'll show you a sketch which I did today just to demonstrate the process which I just explained you. As you can see in the sketch, I started with this thumbnail but I had no story to it. I had no functionality. I was just sketching around and trying to find some good forms. You can clearly see that it looks good at first impression but we can't really tell what it is. But that's totally fine because these weird sketches helps me a lot to play, play around and push my boundaries and imagination. I can always take this further and refine it up and make it more functional. One important thing is when you're focusing for functionality, think as a 3D artist for a moment. Think how you would build this in 3D. I would also suggest you doing some freehand sketching without any grids, without any perspective lines. Just start with any sci-fi shape and keep adding things on top of it like wires, cuts, edges, booleans. That's why, that's what I was doing in this video. Let your imagination take control of you. You know, it's very similar process to what Kim Jung Ji does. It's like he starts with an area, let's say a leg, and then he draws the whole body on top of it. You do the same thing with sci-fi, just try it once and it's a really fun way because you're letting your imagination to take control of you and then you're drawing whatever you want to. Now let's talk about sci-fi details. Now when we talk about details, we are talking about the tertiary shapes from the big, medium and small we just talked about. You shouldn't stop thinking about big, medium and small because this will help your design to look more pleasing naturally. So details are actually one of the most important thing when it comes to drawing sci-fi and faking functionality or believability. The best way is to copy other artists and copy from industrial designs like industrial arms and observe the plating on top of it. Where are the screws placed? and what shapes are they using for corners etc. One of the design principle uh, is repetition and you will see this a lot in industrial designs and even in nature. Everything humans made is inspired from nature itself. You can see repetition on snake scales or cockroaches legs and even on flowers petals. It's a natural part of design and this will help you to make your design look more pleasing. Even in the time lapse, you can see me using smaller cuts, circles and smaller ellipses around the corners. Those are all the details which I learned, which I gather by learning from photos and other artists. So study them and memorize them to increase your visual library. These small things will make your stuff much better. I hope this video helped you some way. If you want me to make a video just on the topic how to study from references or artworks to get better at design then please let me know in the comments and please share this video with your friends if you liked it. You can always support me on Patreon if you want to but yeah most of the content which I am posting is free. So yeah your help is very appreciated. So thanks a lot guys for watching this video and see you in the next one. Peace.